I think the, the biggest misconception whites have about blacks in Milwaukee is that blacks uh, are out of work because they don't want to work, because they're lazy, uh, that they haven't done the things that are necessary to make them qualify for certain jobs. And, and, and as I said earlier, when we're looking at the manufacturing jobs, those manufacturing jobs that were the heart of, of Milwaukee for decades and decades, these were jobs that didn't require any level of education. You know, people could start off those jobs as teenagers and work there for 30 to 40 years. The only education they needed was inside that factory, learning how to do that particular job that they were doing. And so within Milwaukee, there was never a huge emphasis on higher education because these jobs in the factories paid huge amounts of money. These were family supporting jobs. And so you didn't have the, this generational push to get higher education. In fact, I have a friend of mine who's, whose dad was mad at him when he decided to go to college because he said, well, why do you want to go to college? I can get you a job working right next to me in the factory. And so this is kind of part of the mindset of, of Milwaukee. But when those jobs began to go away, then those opportunities to have family supporting jobs disappeared in our community. So now, where is this emphasis to have higher education? But I think, though, that when you look at it, at where those jobs have gone, uh, those jobs have left our community, and particularly left the central city. Uh, many, many manufacturing jobs in Milwaukee nowadays, in the Milwaukee area, are in the exurban counties, Ozaukee County, Washington County, Waukesha County. Uh, and these are places that blacks from the central city don't have access to for a variety of different reasons. Number one, uh, as many of them don't have driver's licenses. We have municipal citations such as loitering, uh, drinking in public, things of that nature, that will disqualify you from having a valid driver's license. If you don't pay those tickets, they'll suspend your license. We also have the federal government stopped many years ago funding driver's education programs. And so now if you want to learn how to drive, you have to take a driver's ed class that typically costs about $400. This is $400 that poor people in our community can't afford. So you have a lot of people driving who didn't learn how to drive properly, who get pulled over, get tickets, lose their license, uh, don't have the ability to drive. Uh, and a huge number of, of young black males in particular in Milwaukee don't have valid driver's license. And actually, if you just look at the community as a whole, Milwaukee County, uh, they're somewhere uh, in, in, in the neighborhood of about 28,000 people in Milwaukee County who don't have a valid driver's license for a variety of different reasons, many of them related to these municipal citations. And so when you look, you don't have a valid driver's license, means you can't drive to these communities to get jobs. In addition to that, uh, cuts in the Milwaukee County transit system going back the last 15 years have cut off many of those bus routes that took you out to these exurban counties where the jobs were, were growing at. And so you had this, this deepening uh, of kind of uh, uh, recession within Milwaukee's community. You know, we talked about the recession that happened in 2008, 2009, but it became a depression in Milwaukee, specifically in the central city. And people get to the point where they give up looking for work uh, because they can't find work. Uh, and many people are coming back from being uh, institutionalized in, the, in the, the prisons around the state, and they can't get jobs either. Uh, and so you have all of these negative things that are impacting blacks' ability to work. And we know, we know for a fact that blacks do want to work because when you look back in the 1970s and 1960s, the workforce participation rates were almost identical to the whites. Uh, and so it's not as if blacks all of a sudden decided we don't want to work anymore. We still want to work. We just don't have access to those resources that will allow us to have those types of jobs that we want.